Hello friends, welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about the three keywords in Java, final, finally and finalize, right? And I will try to explain you these th three keywords uh, with, the, uh, with the help of this example which already I have created, right? So, what are the differences among final, finally and finalize in Java is one question asked a lot in Java interviews. Uh, this question is asked more to confuse a candidate as they all sound similar. And of course, by asking this question, you get to know of the candidate about three things, final, finally, and finalize in Java. Apart from having final in all of these, there is no similarity. Uh, uh, though it can be said that primary job of both finally and finalize is to clean up. So there is some similarity uh, in functionality between finally and finalize. So let's go through final, finally and finalize to see where they differ and how, right? So here you can see I have created a demo project and here you can see uh, uh, here I have a model class is called fine uh, person and there I have uh, some instance variable which is type of final and uh, uh, this instance variable is basically, basically getting uh, initialized in the uh, constructor itself, right? So basically when we talk about the, and we have a one client program which is called final client test and here you can see I have declared a final variable and uh, here I have instantiated person and we are passing uh, first name and last name as the instance creation time, right? And I, I have created one list as well, right? And uh, the reference of list, I have assigned an object of list and I have added few elements and iterating it. And some of the code you can see I have commented because this code basically leads to, leads to the compilation error. So when we talk about the final, final keyword in Java is used to restrict some way. It can be used with variables, methods and classes, right? So three places where you can use the finally, uh, final keyword uh, before variable, before method and before class. When a variable is declared as final, its value cannot be changed once it is initialized, right? So here you can see I have one variable which is called data and that is kind of final and that, that value I'm printing. Afterwards, if you try to reassign a new value, this leads to the compilation error. Right, so final once you initialize with some value, you cannot reassign some other value. Right, if you try to do so, you will get the compilation error. Right, so but this is ex exception uh, when uh, you talk about the blank final variable, right, which must be initialized in the constructor. Right, so what is blank final variable? So, here uh, what I have shown you in the person class. So this is called blank final variable. Even though I haven't initialized this variable, is still compilation is not showing error. But let me comment this code and you see immediately this will flag the compilation error. And now if you put cursor here saying that the blank final field first name may not have been initialized and same error is coming for the last name. Means if your variable is blank final variable, means you have instance variable, you declare as a final, then this is called blank final variable and this variable must be initialized in the constructor. So that's the way basically we create the immutable class, right? So to create a uh, immutable class, basically there are certain uh, basically things you will have to keep in mind. This is still not uh, here. You can see we have a personal class which we have made a final. We have declared final variables and we have a public constructor, right? And if anybody wants to access this variable outside of, of the class, then you have a public getter but you do not provide any kind of public setter method so that people cannot change the state of this object once that uh, object is created and that's the way basically uh, basically you have a immutable class getting created in java but let's uh, keep it separate uh, what is immutable class and all here my intention is to show you how we can uh, use a blank final variable and how that is getting in slide within the constructor right so here uh, you can see come to the final client test and this is the client program which contains the main method. Also reference variable, right? You cannot assign new object to uh, this reference variable. This will immediately flag the compilation error, right? 
Uh, apart from that, uh, if you have a method final in Java, that method cannot be overridden in the class, right? If you apply before the method final keyword that in the subclass. Now, if a class is declared as final, then it cannot be subclass. Like here, person you have a final class, so you cannot create a subclass of this class, right? So once class is final, you cannot make a subclass of it. So I hope you understood what is the significance of final keyword in Java. Now let's move ahead and let's talk about the finally keyword, right? So as we have already been talking about the finally is a part of exception handling mechanism in Java. Finally block is used with try catch block, uh, uh, right? Alo along with the try block, uh, we can have both catch and finally blocks or any of them, right? So we can uh, we can uh, we can basically uh, have uh, any of the this combination like try catch finally try catch or try finally right finally block is always executed whether any exception is thrown or not and rest exception is handled in the catch block or, or not right or uh, since finally block is always executes thus it is primarily used to close the uh, open the resources like database connection, file handling, etc. Uh, from Java 7 onwards, try with resources provide another way to automatically uh, manage resources that we will see separately. So here uh, I have another example final client test and here you can see I am making use of the buffer reader which I have just uh, initialized over here and uh, here I have instantiated right and here uh, basically I have a file is called test.txt which is in the basically class path directly I have dumped in the uh, this uh, project and basically I am reading this file line by line. So if you can see the content of this file and uh, basically here we have a uh, one resources that we are using within the try block and same resource we will have to close in the uh, finally block. So here I am doing uh, buffer reader not null than resource I am doing the uh, some kind of cleanup operation right as if you do not clean him, clean up then uh, this this resource will will be keep open and uh, java basically java runtime will uh, occupy the memory so so if you are taking some resources some stream or some some kind of any resources right so those resources you will have to always close in the finally block right so it's pretty straightforward now last keyword we are going to talk talk about that's not a keyword basically that's a finalized method right and that's what we have another example so basically finalized method is a protected method of java dot lang dot object class uh, since it is uh, is it it is in object class thus it is inherited by every class right this method is called by the garbage collector thread before removing any object from the memory this method can be overridden by a class to provide any cleanup operation and gives object final chance to clean up before getting garbage collected right so if you go to the basically press control shift o and if you look into the object class so here you have a finalize method finalize method which is a protected method basically and uh, this is a protected method and body is completely in, uh, empty. So here you can uh, override this method in your class, right? So that's what I have done here. I have overridden this method in our class. And what I have done, I have a client program. I have created an object of this class and I'm calling a greet method, right? This I'm making use of this object. And, uh, and finally, I'm nullifying this object. And finally, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm basically requesting to re requesting to the garbage collector so if i do not re uh, request the garbage collector then finalize method will not be called you can call finalize method directly but you can uh, request to the garbage collector to call it before uh, any object is garbage collected now welcome method is getting called now if you request to the garbage collector because you have nullified this object so now this garbage collector is getting called by the jvm right so, so basically, but uh, some of the things you will have to keep in mind, uh, like uh, some of the things you, you should note that it is not good idea to 
rely on the uh, finalized method for closing resources as there is no guarantee when finalized method will be called by garbage collector if you try to do some kind of cleanup operation that th th this will by jvm or not at run time so uh, this is this is basically a standard practice to don't write don't overwrite finalized method and don't try to kind of write any kind of uh, basically cleanup operation right because that totally even though if you are requesting to the jb i mean uh, even uh, uh, you are requesting to the runtime java runtime is still calling the finalized method up to uh, on the garbage collector right you cannot force the garbage collector always you can request to the garbage collector and calling this finalized method up to the uh, up to the basically java runtime system right so that's all i have to discuss in this video tutorial so i hope you understood what's the meaning of uh, basically final uh, finally and finalized keyword and uh, i hope you would be very much clear now so if you really like this video then please hit on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel guys big thank you for watching this video and see you next video tutorial